I just realized that I actually spent quite a bit on moment equipment. Nevertheless, just let's have a quick look on the new product that they just released. And this is the lens clip. Unboxing is kind of the same as all their lens. And inside, there's a quick setup clip guide that how you should place your clip on your phone. So it's kind of straightforward. And they teach you how to remove the plastic part by pushing out the wheel, which I'm going to be showing you in a while. Hey you what's up guys, it's me Mr. Gim here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting unboxing for you guys which is the Moment Lens Clip. This might not be relevant to people who doesn't own a Moment Lens but I guess maybe perhaps I will change your mindset to get into mobile photography. I'm not sure but this is a product which is kind of interesting because you can mount on any phone. So before I show you some examples, maybe let me go through all the parts that they included. They included this long plastic snapping piece. I'm not sure what is it all about. They also included an additional lens mount and a thicker rubber screw cap. And also the main hero of the day which is the lens clip mount. So according to their website, you can mount almost every phone that is under 10.75mm thickness from the camera surface to the screen surface. And it's a machine aluminium housing which they also say is secure, won't slip off your phone. It's easy to put on, align and tighten to place. Works on all moment and mount lens. Works on camera bump with different height. Padded contact won't damage your phone screen or camera glass. And it actually works with laptop camera too. So I guess you only get the honest opinion when you purchase the product and test it out yourself. So with a true test, I guess you have a better understanding of this product. So I'm going to use several phones for this testing of the mount. So you guys have will have a better understanding of the use of this clip. Right now I'm using the iPhone 7 Plus and just do my first testing for now. Mounting the lens is the same as mounting on the phone case. There's a line labeling how you can mount the lens. And I guess this is the challenging part because you might need to shift your lens to the left or right and make sure that it is centered before you tighten it up. And this is how it looks like when you fully mount your lens correctly and tighten it up on the phone. I brought my whole setup out to do some shooting and this is how the full gear looks like. And if you are actually interested of the gear that I use, I will link that down in the description box below. Because it mentioned that we can actually mount on every devices. So over here I have my iPad 2, which is a very old device. And I would like to try to clip on the lens clip to this iPad. And I must say that it works really well. When I zoom in the image, I don't see any part distort or whatever. So it's great that you can actually mount on the old device. So how about the newest iPad Pro? Of course you can too. It's just that devices that are thinner than 6mm, you will require a wider rubber screw cap to put it on because if not, you will have hard time mounting the lens clip. And this is me trying to fix the lens clip without the wider rubber screw cap. It's still possible but you're going to have a lot of hard time finding the right spot. Alright, so right now I'm going to do a speed test regarding this lens clip and also the moment lens case. What's the advantage and disadvantage of this product? It took about 28 seconds to fully set up the lens. Whereas with moment case, it's just about 4 seconds and it's done. So with moment case, you can actually make use of the full screen estate and do your daily driver stuff like messaging or writing notes and there is no obstruction using that. Whereas you use the lens clip, I often want to reply somebody's message that is always something that blocks me. 
So can you imagine you are using an iPhone X and you can't access anything on the top right hand corner so it's kind of bugging me so to conclude if you have a second phone and use it as your main camera you can buy this clip lens because it is very versatile and you can use it on almost really any phone so as you all know virtual meeting has already become more and more normal right now so i find this clip will be useful for your webinar or your work from home virtual meeting for zoom just make sure you remember to clean up your room before meeting Bruh. your boss or colleague all right guys that's the end of my video i have summed out most of the pros and cons using this lens clip and if you are interested in buying this product i will link that down in the description box below you might get a 10 percent off if you hit a minimum and i do hope this video gives you some value of this product and if you do gently press the like button be my friend by pressing on the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video okay thanks bye